Hi guys, my name's Barb and I'm new to the YouTube game. For today's video, we're going to be using one of these and these metal cutouts that I picked up and some of the pumpkins that came on a stem. I don't know what I did with the stem. There was like three on a stem in the floral section. So first we're going to start off. I'm going to use this mason jar. I'm going to try to pull this tag off the back. And we're going to try to paint this side. If I can't get it painted on this spot, I always use goo gone and alcohol. And then sometimes it still don't work. If not, we will try to use this side. But I'm going to pull this label off and then try to get it cleaned off. And I'm also going to take this black piece off the bottom. And I haven't tried to do that yet. But I'm going to see if I can just get something and pry it. <clears throat> Pardon me, and pry it off. And then um, we'll go from there. So I'm taking this popsicle stick. I was wetting the um, label and I'm scraping trying to get this off before I put the goo gone. And then after the goo gone, I'll clean it up with some alcohol so that the goo gone doesn't stay on it because I have to be able to paint over this. And I just pop the bottom right off of this. And I'll probably sand this a little bit right there where there was some glue. Just to get it nice and even. And just scrape that out a little bit to make sure it's even. And then we will go ahead and start. I forgot to mention we're going to be using... One of these cake pans or whatever takeout pans and I picked up the kind with the flat bottom but we're going to be using the side of the cake pan but that's not till later so first we're going to get started with our painting and sand this little piece first so we're going to paint this with our Waver Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut color and so I'm just gonna give it a give my paint a little shake and then just start painting on my jar and it'll it may take just one coat chalk paint usually goes over really well and covers really well. That's why I like to use it a lot. Also, the matte apple barrel paint. It has kind of a chalky finish. And you can always make your own. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this. We're going to be doing something else with the top there. But we need to get it painted all the way up to that little rim. And you can paint the whole thing if you'd like, but I'm just going to paint up to this first little rim. And then we'll go on from there to painting this. So this is painted with our hazelnut. We're going to paint this in Waverly chalk paint as well, but in the color truffle. And so... That's what we're going to do now, is paint this little piece. After that's done, we will move on to our next part. This will probably only take one coat. So out of these cutouts, Thankful, Harvest, and Welcome, we are going to take the Thankful 
and we are going to paint it with the hazelnut. So, um, we're going to paint this thankful with this hazelnut. And we're just going to go over it in the front and the back if you want. You don't have to do the back. You don't even have to paint it at all. We're going to go ahead over it with this hazelnut. And we'll go ahead and do the back too. Our next step is to take some of these garden shears and cut out a piece of the side of this pan. It doesn't have to be the side, but I want to use the middle part for something else later. So I'm going to cut out the sides and take a um, dry erase marker and after you get your piece of tin cut out, place it underneath your mason jar and then trace around the lid until you get this. And we are going to hot glue that onto the top of our mason jar to give it more of a 3D metal look. And you can bend it up a little bit if you'd like to make it look a little worn. But we are going to hot glue this onto the top of our mason jar. If you would like to use E6000, you can use that as well for a more permanent hold, but the hot glue is good. And I went ahead and, as you saw, painted the top of the mason jar just so that if any of it was showing through. Um, also, for this, I'm going to, I'm going to trim up the side a little bit. It was sticking out a little bit. And I'm going to take some stickers and place them on here, spelling out autumn blessings or fall, something like that. I think I'm going to use these. Um, and I'm going to spell out fall. F-A-L-L -L going down. And we're going to put those on here now. And then we'll move on from there. So having that on there. And then take, um, we have a little leaf that was a part of another decoration. And we're going to put it on. So we've put hot glue in this so that it will stand. And it says thankful. And then this, a nice little fall decoration. And you have that. for your fall decoration. I decided to trace around the letters fall and I'm going to paint them on in the color truffle in this Waverly chalk paint. And so that's how we're gonna switch this up just a little bit, just for the ending. I think the fall painted on looks much better with the truffle chalk. The finished piece. Thank you for watching.